Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Now, in a previous video where I was making the flywheel puller for the uh, whacker, um, you will have seen me drilling holes on this machine, and what you'll have seen is me. Uh, I can't remember whether it was in there or not, but you've seen quite a wobble on the drill. The reason why is this chuck and this arbor combination is a problem. Just to show you, I have in there, and we'll go in picture in picture, uh, this is a thousandths indicator, so um, that goes, the dial full one rotation is a bit over 40 thou or a bit over a millimetre and if I just turn this around you will see that that is just got one massive amount of wobble in it now just to show you if I just take that out so that's the problem what I'm using to determine that is I'm using in this chuck I'm using a um, let me just get that out of the way 10 millimetre shank shank carbide bit which is guaranteed to be bang on uh, in terms of straightness and so on so if I take that out and I'll just show you very briefly hold on take that out and I put in the arbor that goes with that um, M10, we can then get a similar measurement for that. That's out, oops, make a mess of that. That's a nice piece, useful piece of kit. So if I now put in the M10 collet, enough of that hanging down. see there really isn't any movement there might be half a thou in there but that's it okay so that is the nature of the problem and just to show you I'm going to go and take this out of here I don't know, put that down Incidentally, that is a the tool you use to get those out. So if I now pop in the chap that came with my MyFood in there. Just get that up.
I see this one has got what is that two and a half three and a half thousand worth of uh, movement on it so it's not a hundred percent but it's substantially better it is over ten times better than the other one so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove this from this uh, I'm not going to test that because it will become obvious why this is like this in a sec so we're going to go over to the um, vice and remove this from this what let me just see I don't know if you can see down there I've got a light hold on not handy right down there give me a sec You can see just the end of the arbor in the bottom. And all we need to do in this case is to support this, put the right side drift down the middle and knock it out. So let me just go and do that. Right, so what we just need to do, drift down the middle, centered, tap it, tap, tap. Out it comes and then what you can see is that is in fact a homemade, um, I say homemade, It's that will be a soft arbor that's been machined down and in there you can see where it's been blued in so it's the wrong, it's not the right arbor for that so let's go back over and fit a new arbor. Right so that there is the problem is the well I say the problem I can I, let me just go and do that actually let's get that out very briefly speed up and that's out Drop that in there. We can now see oh, that's interesting. Oh no, they can't be touching that. Oh that's why Daisy me, right, so there isn't actually a huge amount of play in that, that was me moving the handle. So the problem is, might well be, just that that's not square. Now when you've got one of these it can be a bit of guesswork to figure out what the correct adapter is. This is a Chinese made, it's called Triangle Brand, and what we're going to try 
you can only really measure that there. I've measured that and I think that's about uh, a B18 taper. So we have B18 to Morse 2. We're going to see if that improves the affairs. Right, we're going to give that a wipe. The clean tissue. Get all the oil off. That's a nicely ground. That's a, it's a tapping stick. I'm, maybe. I'm losing my mind. Right, let's go and put that in. Let's see how this does. That is about two and a half now, so that is much better. And the reason why that's important, let me just go and pop that up to the zero. Yep, two and a half now. So all that was wrong with that chuck is that arbor was not sitting properly into that chuck now fixed that's going to become important later on because I've got to drill some very tiny holes uh, one and a half millimeters well I say very tiny it's not that tiny um, in a large block of aluminium but there we go that's that fixed thank you for watching please like share and subscribe any questions please ask